hey guys taps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm so excited to have you watch this video i want us to be looking at the plugin google site kits together uh, i want to show you how this plugin can help you a great deal if you're into blogging or you have a website you do your business or affiliate marketing or whatever you do online with your website uh, you know that monitoring your website is very very key to business uh, you would have to open a couple of accounts like your google analytics i have that open here uh, you can also have your google search console in case you're using google adsense you need to create the account for you to manage to see how your site is doing you would also need to have a couple of applications here and there for you to check your website performance like if you come to my bookmark here you see i have page speed inside i have pingdom i have gt metrics i have all this uh platform where i monitor my website or my blog to see how they are doing and one of the things you would agree with me that is very difficult for people to do is to keep tabs with all of those platform every now and then for you to know how your website is doing it's been a headache it's been a problem for many bloggers many digital entrepreneur online marketer whatever you're doing online uh over time we've seen plugins here and there help us uh, integrate these things into our wordpress dashboard but if you are very familiar with seo you know that most of those plugins uh would do more harm than good many times because they will slow your website you will need to hard code to your page headers you need to do a lot of things for you to be able to integrate these uh, platforms into your wordpress website but in this video i want to show you one plugin that is google site uh, kit that would help you integrate all of these platforms into your wordpress website without asshole without wasting so much time let's get started into this tutorial immediately So going to the back end of this website, uh, let's look, let's come to plugins, let's come to add new. Okay, so let's search for this plugin. Searching for the plugin G Site Kit, we have this plugin here. And you can see that this plugin will help you integrate your analytics, search console, adsense, and even check for your website speed. This plugin was put together by Google, and you can see that this plugin have active 1 million install as of today. So let's install this plugin, and let's activate this plugin as well. All right, congratulations, the site kit plugin is now active. Once this plugin is installed, if you check by your far left hand by your dashboard here, you see this uh, Google Site Kit uh, option here. So if you if you click this, you come to the dashboard here. Uh, but again, we can just continue from here. Yeah, this plugin we ask you to share anonymous usage data. Uh, you can do that to at least help Google improve the plugin, see how you're using it. But for me, I really don't do those stuff. Uh, so let's hit this tab setup. You see what we have to do right now is that we have to verify that we own this blog by signing into our google account and our advice that you always have a separate google account a gmail account for any property you have online is very very important and as well you see that this plugin here will help you set up your search console in case you have not set it up and that's the beauty about this it to set it up for you so but let's just sign into our google account i have this email here so this is the email i want to use and all i have to do right now is to give access to this plugin to interact with my gmail uh, so now you can see that you are verified uh, i block traffic can access your google data i block traffic is set up in search console so this is good so congratulations so let's go back to our dashboard beautiful and you can see that immediately we set this up this has been able to uh, pull out the website data immediately and you can see from here that search console as is connected google adsense isn't this is a new uh blog that my myself and my team we just set up and we want to we just want to uh want to build this together 
uh, let's see what we can do with it and we don't have a google analytics set up here we can connect as well all right okay fantastic we can see that our analytics also has been connected uh, for page speed insight we can also connect as well so we can see that page speed insight has been connected analytics has been connected and google search console has been connected if you are using adsense on your website you can also connect your adsense here so that you can monitor your adsense everything right on your dashboard and one thing i like about this plugin is the fact that it gives you real life statistics you can imagine how complex it is for you to keep tabs with your search console or your analytics sometimes you can't even make sense of what's what's there but this just simplified the process we can see that all i've got right now in the last 28 days are just four users it's a new plot is a new website entirely we've not really done anything major on on the blog and you can see real statistics of the channel, how they are doing, the location people are visiting from, and the device they are using. Uh, you can see, so I've got traffic from the United States and also from Nigeria. So 50-50. And the device people are using, I can check that here. Uh, then 100% everybody accessing my website have accessed it through mobile device this information is pulled from analytics so you can see the source here is from analytics and this is from our search console so you can see that uh, the impression that we got is five and we have two clicks already from search and uh, that's that's good uh to even know that i this new blog has visibility via search is amazing and we can see top queries for our, our website you can see the impression and the clicks you can see the most popular content that we've got and this is this is amazing for these amazing details that can help you and this source is also from analytics as well not even search console uh, this is good uh, if you keep scrolling down you can you can search for individual URL or title of a page or a post on your site for you to view their data to see how they are doing and it's amazing it's amazing and I, I, I love this plugin and I love the simplicity it has brought to keeping tracks with your website uh, your blog uh, whatever you are working on and the amazing thing again that has made this plugin stand out for me that i'll be using this plugin for a very long time is the fact that i can see i can see details from page speed insight uh, this is very very good this is page speed and experience uh, you can see in the lab in the field so we can this is details from uh, how my website is doing via mobile so i can switch this to desktop uh, to see how my website is doing on desktop many times you need to know that your website may be doing very well uh, in the web view may not be doing well on mobile view so you need to optimize your website for both views both mobile and web views and the good thing about this plugin itself that uh, google page insight will give you uh in uh ideas on the things you need to do to improve your website and that's what you see here recommendation on how to improve your website eliminate render blocking resource so if you click that you can read more about this and there's a link here to give you more details on how this is done reduce your initial server response time this has to do with my server your website hosting registrar plays a significant role in how your website behave uh, so you need to take note of that as well serve static asset with an efficient catch policy so it means i need to put a catching plugin here so if i click hit this uh, i can read more about this and if i read this it will give me options for plugins that are good with caching like w3 like light page speed whatever we've got lots of plugins like that that will help and also we can reduce unused css 
and as well and enable text compression so there are quite a lot of plugins and things you need to do here uh, there's a plugin i love to use to solve all these plugins all these issues for me uh, it is called wp rocket i've done a tutorial on wp rocket i showed you how i use uh, a very shabby hosting account and i've been able to speed up that website just by using wp rocket and i'll put a link in the description below and i'll also put a link on the screen here where you can click for you to see that video to see how you can make the best of wp rocket uh, i'm sure it's a it's a plugin you love to use you'll see how simple how easy it is for you to optimize your website for speed so this is what this plugin is bringing to you is completing uh every of the things you need and another thing you need to note again that you can come down here to the plugin and you see a specific place for search console so you can click that and from search console you can see details uh, of what your website is doing just via search console alone if you want to interact with search console and you can also come down here and click analytics and this will just show you what your analytics is doing so you can see we've got four users four session we have 50 percent bounce rate so it means that two people out of the four visited one of our pages and never visit another and two minutes session a two minutes 18 seconds uh, is the average time that they've spent on my blog so if i keep scrolling down i'll i'll see how they've come so 15 percent of them have come directly and 50 percent of them have come through search uh organic online so at least you can see the details of how your site is doing uh vividly so if you come down again to settings i see a couple of things we can do here you can see that these are the connected services that we have already we can come down to connect more service and you can see that we can still connect this to adsense we can connect this to optimize we can also connect this to tag manager in case you want to see a, another video from me specifically teaching you how to use tag manager you can let me know in the comment section below i'd love to know how many of my uh how many of you there wants to learn this i want to know more about tag manager how you can create tags on your website without any piece of code you can just easily tag your site to see how your site is doing and how people are interacting with your website via tag manager so let me know i'll, I'll be glad to know how many of you wants to and if i if i get a, a good amount of people i might just be doing that as my next video and you can also come to admin settings this is where you can revoke your access uh, you can you reset site kit and if you do this it will sign out sign uh it will sign out of your previous gmail account that is giving us these details so that's it about this plugin google site kit i hope this video is useful for you if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear if you find this video very useful give me a thumbs up i would appreciate that subscribe 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 to this youtube channel i need that that's the only way i can grow this channel that's the only way i can build this channel uh to be what i want it to be i appreciate that that's you supporting me in your own little way and i will will be appreciative thank you very much for watching this video i am dabs uh until my next video bye for now